I've sent a messenger to the claim to let everyone know. If there's anything you or your clan need for her arrangement, I'm glad you're back. I'm at a loss about Ursa. She wouldn't want us to waste time talking. She'd want us to find Durval. She said he raved about smoke darkening the sun. Tell him what you found in his papers. A letter. It mentioned a shipment of Blaze being sent to a warehouse here. Only, it wasn't addressed to Duval. The name was Ayland Forgeman. Does that mean anything to you? Uh, sounds familiar. Yes, a landlord. Let me think. It's by the edge of the Mesa, near the temple. It used to be a shop, but it could serve as a warehouse. If Durval used the name as an alias to buy it, he might even be there now. I'll round up my men. I'll meet you there. Errand, wait. Remember that no one hates Durval more than your own tribe. The clans would give up much to obtain him. Take him alive? So you can haggle over him? You can't be serious! Our security depends on keeping the peace. If the opportunity presents itself, take him alive. Consider that a command. <clears throat> Aloy, a moment, please. When we spoke, Aaron didn't wish to dwell on the details of Ursa's death. Understandable, of course. But now that they've been left to my imagination, those details are all I can think about. You were there. Did she suffer? She's not the one who's suffering now. You are. She died before you could say goodbye. Is it that obvious? You're right. I'm dwelling on my pain, not just hers. And there's only one thing left that can help. Find Durval and bring him before me. He will answer for his crimes. Don't let me delay you any longer. You home, Durval? I got a surprise for you! Or he has a surprise for us. Is it a bomb? Doesn't look too it's a big. bomb, all right. Big enough to kill us. All right. I'll shut up. Blaze. It must be leaking from something upstairs. That's a lot of blaze. If that bomb downstairs goes off, it'll be just what Durval promised. Smoke will darken the sun as the city goes up in flames. There's, there's gotta be a way to stop it. If I try to take it apart, a booby trap will set it off. If we can get rid of it somehow, the blast will be much smaller. If we can get rid of it somehow, the blast will be much smaller. Maybe there's some way I can open this window to get rid of the fuel for the bomb. It looks like a wooden bracket. 
Not very strong. Help me push this out. Okay. Brute force. I'm good at that. What'll it do? Save the city, I hope. But when the blaze falls, run for it. Because the booby trap on the bomb downstairs is gonna get set off. Uh, will we survive? Probably not. Now push. Ugh. Best shot. The Meridian's still standing. This is over. Duval said he'd make a Vob watch. No way. To do that, he'd have to get into the palace. And that's too heavily guarded. Get back there, just to be sure. I'm gonna look around. Maybe Duval's men left something behind when they planted that bomb. I got it. Don't worry. He tries for the palace. He's finished. Tracks. It's just a bit of blaze in them. Just you and a reasonable share of a lucrative opportunity. The Oslo what happened? Family. I haven't heard a blast like that since the liberation. A moment of your time, Outlander. There's smoke rising from the edge of the mesa. Are we under attack? The tracks lead inside. Another one of Durval's hideouts. This must be where Durval assembled the detonator. <sighs> Durval did find a way into the palace. You'll do. to the Maniac King. You robbed me of my right to kill your father, so I'll have to settle for you. I'm going to enjoy watching the Karja burn, even more because you'll be watching with me. Say goodbye to Meridian Avad. Breathe in the stench and choke on the ashes. Something's wrong. 
didn't. I, I didn't hear anything. There's a bit of smoke rising from the mesa's edge. No! It should be a firestorm, not some belt from a charcoal burner! You must be the Nora who bushwhacked my camp. And disabled your bomb. Did you now? Well, bomb or no bomb, I'm gonna splatter that throne with blood. First yours, then Avad's. We've got company. Why does Avad always have to? Uh, let an army uh, move me! Oh, Kestrel only uh, ravages, a savage is nothing. If you can get a machine to do it for you. Majestic, murderous glint hawks. Should have brought a cart. As much 
much as I wish Ursa was here to kill you. I don't mind doing it for her. Go ahead. I'm not afraid. Except that knowing you, Eren, you'll screw it up! I know what you are afraid of. Going back to Mainspring in chains. Every clan in the claim wants you dead. And they know how to make it hurt. They'll even bid for the privilege. It's just like you to get someone else to do your killing. Shut up! You're at the Sun King's mercy now. Aloy, to say you have my gratitude feels woefully insufficient. And because of you, there will be justice for Ursa's murder. It's hard to imagine where we'd be without you. What exactly will happen to Durval? For now, he'll languish in one of the old cells under the Sunring here in Meridian. As for what happens after we negotiate his extradition to Mainspring, I don't want to think about it. My father was very creative when it came to inflicting suffering. But some Oseram devices surpass even his imaginings. What a waste. Durval is a brilliant man. I wonder what he would have accomplished if it weren't for my father's cruelty. I know who attacked the Nora. A faction of Shadow Karja called the Eclipse. They're digging up ancient machines, weapons they want to use to strike Meridian. I see. What you're saying echoes whispers I've heard from Marad. When will the attack come, do you know? I'm not sure yet. And we will do what we can to prepare. Shall we talk some more? Why do you want me to stay in Meridian? Well, I would think that would be obvious. Not to me. Well, to start with, you kept the city from going up in flames. You were strong, shrewd, and, and capable. I could use someone like you at my side. It might be worth taking a moment to examine what you just said. You just lost Ursa. A woman who stood at your side and could easily be described as strong, shrewd, and capable. It's pretty clear how you felt about her. And now you're asking me to take her place. Is this a job offer or a proposition? By the sun, you do indeed share much with Ursa. Including a withering eye for foolishness. Ah. Please. Accept my apologies. I will be forever grateful to you, Aloy. Were you and Ursa... you know... I suppose it's obvious how I feel... how I felt... about her. But we couldn't be together. The union of the Sun King and an Osiram warrior would have led to open revolt in the city. Did anyone know? Only one. Derval. He wanted Ursa, but she rejected him. I have to go. I understand.
I get it. You want to rub it in? Well, it's not working. Ha ha. It's funny to pester the tinker in the cage. What a laugh. You think that bit of scrap on your brow makes you smart? I'll bet you couldn't have taken apart my bomb without it. Think I'm done? <laughs> think again. I've gotten out of worse scrapes. While the lunkheads in Mainspring dither over how to kill me, I'll dig myself out. A moment of your time, Outlander? It's always the ones you least expect that cause you trouble. Aloy. I was just thinking about Ursa. She would have killed Durval on the spot. I know it. That's why she went out to meet him in the first place, to put him down. But she also told me to grow up. I gotta admit it burned a little when she said that, but I'm trying to take it to heart. And I guess growing up means putting what you should do in front of what you want to do, right? <laughs> you're asking me? I'm pretty sure you're older. Yeah, but I don't act like it, do I? You did with Durval. Now, don't give me too much credit. Part of me still wants to wait for a quiet moment and wring his neck. Yeah, but you won't. Because you're a good captain. Come on, stop. You're gonna make me tear up. So, after all this, what's next for errand vanguardsmen? Uh, heading back to the claim for a while. I'll get in touch with my clan and we'll lay Ursa to rest properly. Like how she would have wanted. And by that I mean less chit-chat, more drinking. What do you think the Osirim will do to Durval? First off, they'll argue about it for a long time. But whatever they come up with, it won't be quick. I can live with that. In fact, I might just drop by his cell under the sun ring to remind him what's coming. Well... I know. You gotta go. Killers to track, machines to master. All before breakfast. You know what? When we met, I thought I was a big shot talking to a pretty girl hidden away in the middle of nowhere. Now I see that I was just lucky to get a minute of your time. Try not to forget about me while you're out there changing the world. I'll always have a minute for you. Maybe even two. Two? Huh. She likes me.
Override's working. That'll keep my stomach quiet.
take a look around the room. Say again, Lieutenant. I got some. Titan is through the defenses. Still on approach. Ah, a live one. And it's pissed. We've got no mobility in here. It'll punch right through us. We hold the hatch at all costs. Then push back out. The battle. Frozen in us. Are you getting this, Silence? Silence? Looks like quite an enduring victory we put our foot in today. Contact in 30 seconds. Hey, think that's enough time for Sobek to finish Zero Dawn? <laughs> <laughs> if this is really it, I gotta say, it's been an honor to serve beside these tanks. <laughs> Here it comes. Grease for contact! Silence, you getting this? What is it? All these soldiers. They died here. People die all the time. I'll keep going and find something interesting. Titan inbound, same play as Akron. Base defense locks it down. We engage seven lanes to blast out the panels. What did that mean? Whatever it was, I can see what it turned out for now. Must have been where the soldiers slept. Like the lodge. Where was this place? Recalls, I've been instructed to remind you of Article 115 of base policy regarding unauthorized use of processor cycles. Specifically, 115C. Any holographic simulation not directly related to operational training or efficient... I know it's been days, honey. I'm so sorry. Deployments are getting real long and tougher every time. The swarm's getting better at predicting us. Less of us now, and we have to put in ten times the work for everyone gone. Like a family business on hard times, only... This isn't my family. It's not with you. I still try to see you. The life we had, in the eyes of the... Thanks for the mails, you. Time goes fast on active duty. Four months with the wreck and recalls, I don't know, 20 drops in and out of the West Coast. Mog, first battle of the Eastern Seaboard Wall. Had a long run up to it. This was before Kalmar. Log, third battle of California Marine. The swarm came in from the Pacific, and I don't know if it was the local Minutemen or the crazy 15, the but were they'd set the garbage patch alight. How'd they ever get Man. comfortable? See, it was on the world. That stuff was used to it. The first wave of bots came in covered in burning sludge. They bought us an hour or two of slaughtering them on the beaches before the swarm recalculated. We pulled them inland back to the. Red light. Guess that means no power. Useful information.
haven't seen in a week. Must be some kind of code. Maybe I should try scanning objects in this area. These wires must run to the power source. to know how I remember the geotherm system reboot goes like this bird flies north in summer east in spring west in fall and south in winter didn't expect to hear nature poetry from the lips of Mike the GT tech now did you as usual I defy expectations Three power lines, three sources, that makes one. That's two, one more. Target. Oh. 
Thanks for the mails, you. I know it's been days, honey. Status report. 9th Mechanized Response Brigade, Commanding Officer... Ames, I don't even know if you're alive anymore. The mails I get from you, they say they're from you, but they don't sound... They sound recycled. Ames, I know I mail you too much. I'm just proud of what you're doing. Everyone back home is. We got moved inland 10 kilometers, just as a precaution, they say. School's still in session, so I get to keep my eye on Andreas and Reggie. We never know where or when you're fighting, but when the VTOLs go over, all the kids run out and wave. I believe in you. I know nothing's ever gonna be the same, but I believe in you. I believe in us. Eclipses, the shadow cast on the moon is curved. So our world is a globe. And it looks like this, from a distance. We'll discuss this another time. Back to the matter at hand. The Faro robots were spreading across the world, eating everything up. Somehow, Elizabeth stopped them before it was too late. But how? The Eclipse, tampering with a metal devil. But they don't think they can wake it, do they? Watch out! And this one can move.
can't carry more. Thank you, Dr. Sobek. You can take a seat. What? You're going to thank her after what she just said? Dr. Sobek has made the situation very clear, General, and given us an option. We should all be thanking her. No, it's just... I mean, my God! Maybe take this discussion offline. There's not going to be any discussion. You saw the numbers. Now, Pharaoh, he'll foot the bill, but his money can't buy the time necessary to complete Zero Dawn. That... That can only be paid for in blood. Oh, come on! If we upgrade our fleet, crack the code somehow... Or... Were you not listening? Robots can't do the fighting food this time. When it comes to hacking, this rogue swarm is an apex predator. Anything automated you throw at it, they will hijack and take over. But this... We'd be throwing civilians into a meat grinder. Commanders, the enemy we're facing self-replicates faster than we can kill it. And it eats biomass as fuel. Zero Dawn is all we've got. So we put a railgun in the hand of every civilian strong enough to carry one, show them where the trigger is, and point them to the front? How the hell do we sell that? By giving them something to fight for. Zero Dawn. The top secret super weapons program that will save us. So long as humanity holds off the swarm long enough for Dr. Sobek and her team to finish it. The file I'm sending contains the war plan for Operation Enduring Victory. War plan? This is a war crime. It may be ugly, but it's something. Consider the alternative. Dr. Sobek. I've secured use of a decommissioned orbital launch base outside Bryce, Utah as the Zero Dawn staging area. Plenty of space there. When can you get started? I've already mailed you a list of Alpha and Beta candidates. Most are foreign nationals or subjects of corporate holdings, so extracting them... Leave that to me. You'll get your dream team. Count on it. Then I'll be off. What is that? What did these people do? What did Elizabeth do? Dr. Sobek, as projected, the Wichita salient has collapsed. Five Horus-class titans have broken through. We predict contact in 34 hours. Everything is in position, General. It took a few shortcuts to pull everything together, but... Zero Dawn is functionally complete. Glad to be rid of that place. Now I just need to find the orbital launch base they talked about. I've checked my data and located the base. That's the good news. And the bad? It's directly underneath the Citadel. The palace at Sunfall. The capital of the Shadow Karja. Not exactly convenient. The palace is crawling with Eclipse agents. Many in positions of authority, all of them wearing focuses. The moment they see you, Hades will too. He'll issue another kill order, and this time, the entire Shadow Carja military will be after you. So, disable their focuses. You've done it before. It's not that simple. Too many focuses in one place. Each of them communicating with each other and back to Hades. A whole network of them. Network? What's that? Uh, imagine a vast, invisible web stretched across the land from end to end, connecting focuses together, allowing them to communicate over vast distances instantaneously. All right. So, is there some way to cut the web down? Hmm. Crash the network. Audacious. Yes. There is a way. A weak point in the network. Point the way. <laughs> I'll send the location data to your focus. Head there, and I'll be in touch when you're close with more directions. What was Zero Dawn? What sort of super weapon did Elizabeth make? She stopped the machines, but not before the world she knew. 
Her civilization ended. Let's hope it won't come to that again. Down from here. Well, this should be quite the ride. <laughs> I'd do that again if it weren't so much work to get back up there. <laughs> 